Getting around doesn't have to be a high-octane adventure. One of the fastest growing industries globally is microtransport, small, high-tech personal transportation for one or two people with a heavy focus on electric and green solutions. It's a growing niche, including everyone from city workers to urban couriers and emergency response personnel. A lot has changed since the early days of e-bikes, scooters, and mopeds. New 2020 models showcase just how far we've come. Let's check out 10 of the most innovative personal transports currently in development. Recently partnering with Swiss mobility experts Micro, Mercedes-Benz is set to release a brand new smart e-scooter. It's made from high-quality materials, as you'd expect from Mercedes, guaranteed for 3,100 miles. Unlike typical scooters with a thumb throttle, the smart e-scooter features a twist grip, similar to that on a motorbike. With 500 watts of power and a 280 watt hour battery that can be charged in just three and a half hours, the e-scooter has a fairly decent range of 15 miles at a top speed of 12 miles per hour. The scooter also has Bluetooth connectivity, so with your phone in a bracket, the Mercedes app will display speed, battery level, distance traveled, and trip duration. It also stores away neatly with an intuitive folding mechanism operated efficiently by a single foot. Straight out of a scene from Mad Max, the DM-017 E-Fighter V2 is a post-apocalyptic e-beast from bespoke online motorcycle company Druk Moto. On board, the Zero DS's 34-kilowatt brushless motor can generate 80 pound-feet of torque instantly. This translates to a blistering top speed of 100 miles per hour, meaning the DM-017 V2 E-Fighter doesn't just look dangerous, it's got some serious power. You've got a choice between a base modular 3.6 kilowatt hour battery that can be hot swapped or the larger permanent 7.2 kilowatt hour battery. Based on the hugely popular Zero DS, the V2 E Fighter has some surprising upgrades from previous iterations. It features all terrain tires, lightweight solid wheels, updated LED lighting, regenerative braking, Bluetooth integration, blue backlit digital speedometer, upgraded front and rear suspension, and a custom premium seat. Each e-fighter is a custom build optimized for the rider. As such, no two drug moto bikes are identical, and every rider gets a one-of-a-kind machine. When it comes to firsts, the e-cooter by British startup Eku managed to claim the title as the world's first cylinder fold e-bike. While many e-bikes and e-scooters on the market already fold away to some extent, the e-cooter is unique in that it folds down to a sort of wheeled ring with a handle for easy transport. According to Iku, the entire folding-unfolding process takes no more than 5 to 7 seconds. Packed inside the slimline rear module, the e-cooter sports a 350-watt rear hub motor powered by a 10.5 amp-hour removable Samsung battery pack. With just a 2-3 to three hour charge, the battery is at capacity and can deliver speeds up to 15.5 miles per hour over a range of about 62 miles. The e-cooter is surprisingly maneuverable, with a mechanical disc brake on the front wheel and a drum brake in the rear for extra stopping power. For added visibility, the e-cooter comes equipped with a rear LED tail and brake lights as well as a bright headlight for nighttime riding. What's the next step after going fully electric? Never having to plug it in to charge. This Screecher is a pedal electric solar vehicle designed by solar innovator Sun Ox. The four-wheeled one-seater buggy has a curved overhead canopy, the outside lined with one of two custom-made solar panels. In the solar panel lined utility box behind the driver's seat are two 350-watt electric hub motors and a 12.8 amp-hour 48-volt lithium-ion battery pack. On a sunny day, the 100-watt and 50-watt solar panels can fully charge the battery in about six hours. Or, if you're impatient, the battery can be removed and charged from a wall outlet in much less time. With a max speed of 15 miles per hour and a range of 20 miles per charge, there's always plan B if the battery runs dead and the sun isn't shining. Pedal power.
Upon first glance at the electric cabin scooter, it looks like an awkwardly compacted VW Beetle. A love child of a scooter and a single rider cabin auto, the electric cabin scooter mixes the convenience and maneuverability of a scooter with the added convenience and comfort of a standard car. Not every scooter can boast a luggage compartment, climate control and weather protection, but this strange hybrid manages it with two distinct models. The trike model is your standard three-wheeler, complete with a 1500 watt motor that delivers a top speed of 15 miles per hour over a range of 25 miles. One step up, the aptly named quad model features four wheels and a rear seat that can carry a second passenger of luggage and an upgraded engine. Producing 2,500 watts, the quad maxes out at 30 miles per hour over a range of 43 miles. If you're after a robust, all-weather scooter with a non-traditional design, take a look at the electric scooter concept from Tor, currently raising production funds on Kickstarter. Unlike traditional scooters with a standing deck, the Tor features side-by-side fold-out aluminum foot platforms so the rider can stand front-on. Solid aircraft-grade aluminum alloy makes up the frame, and the large road-ready wheels are equipped with Kevlar-reinforced puncture-resistant pneumatic tires from Continental. While there's no active suspension on the Tor, the low-pressure tires make potholes, bumps, and pebbles a lot more bearable. A 500-watt motor gives the Tor an impressive top speed of 24 miles per hour, and a single charge will reportedly take riders up to 22 miles. Regenerative braking built into the rear hydraulic calipers helps recover some much-needed juice, powering a 300-lumen LED headlight and a rear light that projects up the rider's back at night. Part go-kart, part quad bike, the 4x4 mountain cart by Polish manufacturer EV4 is an electric trail vehicle designed to allow disabled drivers to experience off-road trail riding. The riveted aluminum frame is lowered to allow easy access in and out of a wheelchair. Meanwhile, all the controls are mounted to the handlebars. A surprising 10 kilowatts of power is generated by four 2,500 watt direct drive motors that can take the mountain cart to speeds of 25 miles per hour. The 48-volt lithium-ion battery can last up to 75 miles on a single charge. Spring-loaded bike shocks provide suspension over uneven terrain. At the same time, the 20-inch wheels covered in cross-country motorcycle tires help the mountain cart stay in control in unpredictable conditions. The mountain cart also comes equipped with an interactive LCD display that shows speed, distance, and battery charge level. When you think of Harley-Davidson bikes, the last thing you imagine is an electric bicycle from the intimidating motorcycle manufacturer. Doubly as confusing is the fact that this new electric prototype from the infamous motorcycle maker is named after the first ever Harley built back in 1903, nicknamed Serial No. 1. While the color scheme pays homage to the original, the rest of the design is completely new. A removable 529 watt-hour lithium-ion battery will provide a range between 35 and 105 miles. Without pedaling, the Serial 1 can reach speeds up to 20 miles per hour. The Serial 1 e-bike will reportedly be available in March 2021 in several variants. The base model Mosh CTY and the Premium Rush CTY, which has three different tiers of value inclusions. Most concept vehicles stay precisely that. Weird and wonderful ideas that do more to impress aesthetically than design for real travel. One exception is the Motorrad Definition CE04 by BMW Motors. Inspired by modular design and then supercharged with sci-fi elements, the Definition CE04 graduated from concept to production. And while the final details aren't released, here's what we know so far. A low-sitting battery pack connects to a compact motor and drive belt system and reportedly has the juice to make it 75 miles on a single charge. Regenerative braking and fast charge capabilities are also rumored. 
Definition CE04 also sports one interesting feature that may be more commonplace in the future than we realize. Connected clothing that integrates with your bike, allowing your jacket to light up and act as an indicator or brake light. The jacket's also loaded with a power bank for charging your phone while on the road. Bikes and scooters have always been the solution to gridlock traffic. Riders can easily skirt around obstacles where larger vehicles can't. In times of crisis, ambulances, fire engines, and police can't always push their way through a traffic jam. Designed by Wonderman Thompson Paris, the emergency bike was created to quickly get first responders onto the scene. Built upon an e-cargo bike base from Urban Aero, the emergency bike features a bottom bracket motor powered by two 500 watt-hour lithium batteries. Without pedaling, the battery can last up to 100 miles on a single charge, and that limit's extended when pedal-assisted. A 40-gallon insulated storage box is mounted to the bike's front, useful for storing medical supplies and equipment. A 140-decibel horn and a high-intensity flashing blue LED are mounted to warn motorists and pedestrians to make way, adding to the mini-emergency vehicle feel.